Right then, okay. I'm back after going to GDC and getting very ill. Um, I am, I guess, the producer of Democracy 3 Africa. I'm not doing the code. I'm not um, uh, doing a lot of the like design fiddling. But this is my latest attempt. This is not a finished build, um, but it's it's almost finished, actually. So um, I'm going to pick a country I haven't played before. I did try Zambia, which needs some balance because it was impossible. Um, about Kenya. Okay, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Kenya. I I know nothing about Kenya. Um, democracy index five point one three out of ten. Not very democratic, maybe. Um, let's give Kenya a go. We can fix Kenya. We reckon. Maybe. Okay then. So usual disasters. Actually, crime not too bad. Poverty not too bad. GDP's always. Oh my god. Okay. So um, yep. Pretty bad. That is HIV, as I recall. Um, some familiar. Crime disasters here, border disputes, desertification, um, poor transport links. A lot of this is new um, if you haven't seen Democracy 3 Africa yet. By the way, if I cough and make horrendous <coughs> noises, it's because I'm still ill. But I'm still working. So everybody hates us and the country is in ruins. Sounds like the UK. Ha 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 ha. Right then. Um... I always try and fix GDP first because often crime is like a symptom of poverty and poverty is a symptom of poor GDP um, we have a deficit but it's actually not too mm, catastrophic I am going to do what I normally do which is go to GDP see what's bad gender inequality skill shortage. Gender inequality is an interesting input to GDP, I think. Because what you're basically saying is that if women are told to stay home and not work, then obviously there's a massive impact on GDP. Um, even the Ferengi understood this in Deep Space Nine, as I'm sure you remember. So, hmm. The trouble is, though, we have quite a few religious people. So, if we start... See, minority sexualities is one thing, but... Well, I'm going to go for Gender Equality. So gender Discrimination Act. Yay. Oh, I should check this as well. Look, we have some leader capital. Now, what leader capital means is we have so little democracy in this country um, that we actually get a boost to how much stuff we can get done. Basically, ministers work harder and civil servants work harder because they think we'll shoot them if they don't. And I'm quite happy with that situation at the moment because I have a lot of changes to make. So, gender representation. See, this is interesting because I want to do this to boost gender equality, to reduce gender inequality. But that will also boost democracy, as of course it would, because now, you know, women are, are more represented and, and so on. Which will actually reduce my ability to get stuff done, because I will have less authoritarian power. How bad a problem is that? I'm going to ban that as well. This first quarter is going to be... Oh, I've run out of power. I was going to say it's... When I make the women love me. Um, children's food. Oh, I strongly believe in regulating children's food. So, hopefully, what I've achieved there at least. Um, gender. Yeah, we want that to come down, really. See, so we have too many conservatives. And too many religious people. And not enough education. It's interesting, isn't it? So it's kind of like we've passed a lot of laws to give women equal rights. I'm going to boost that. 
but it hasn't actually filtered through to the population because people are set in their ways, which I guess is a real thing. So we need to get rid of religious people. <laughs> um, hmm. And we also had a skills shortage. Skills shortage, if you played a lot of Democracy 3, you'll know what you need is adult education subsidies. Um, so that should come down, but it's going to come down over 16 turns. It's going to take ages. So we need other solutions to uh, poor GDP. Productivity shit. The informal sector. Uncompetitive, poor transport links, plow, power blackouts. This is one of my design contributions, you'll be pleased to know. Microgeneration grants, as in stick solar panels on your roof, helps to combat power blackouts. Oh yes, literally power to the people. How cool is that? Um, let's just have a look at other things. So, yep, nobody is in our party. Um, everyone hates us. I mean, literally everyone hates us. Our biggest support is actually from religious people. So that's a problem because we're going to start annoying these people. Um, we haven't changed much yet. And generally speaking, we are a conservative country. This is going to be tough. I think this needs a slurp of coffee. I'm going to ban public smoking. It's a good health thing. Okay, so. Has equality. Where's, where's gender equality? Yes. I mean, check it out. Admittedly, we went pretty ninja on it. Um, so as that drops, GDP should skyrocket. Sort of. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That skill shortage, that's going to take a while, that's the problem. Fixing GDP is difficult. And this is a general problem that um, democratic governments have. In that you put in all these measures to fix the economy. And they kind of kick in just about the time you get booted out of office. And then the next government takes the credit. It happens a lot. So, we have crap technology, but we have this huge deficit. So, what are we wasting money on? Pensions. Screw the old people. Um, a little bit. Just 30 billion. Um, so, if we do that, then we can put, put money into technology grants. Which, over the very long run, are going to skew people away from this superstitious religion and towards... You know, our bright future. Ha! Huh. Everyone hates us, which is slightly worrying. They will start trying to kill us soon. Women's society, yeah, but we've headed that off. See, traditional values alliance. What we need is liberalism. We need to encourage liberalism with some touchy feely community support officers. Can you imagine having having a country with all these problems and you think what we need is community policing? Must fix this title. Yes, we have election tampering and a lack of democracy. That's what makes this country great. Yeah. Mm, mm. Traditional values. So really what I want to do is reduce the number of conservatives. See, people become conservative when crime is high, basically. Um, because the suggestion here is, 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 is partly a result of fear. And of course, when there is little stability and high crime. Although, yeah. See, corruption. Oh no, dear. Oh dear, right. There are quite simple measures we can take about corruption. We can have a government code of conduct. It'll upset all our state employees, of course. Make even more people hate us. But um, 
In the long run, we have to do this. Open plan government offices, my favourite new policy in the whole game. Um, so that will clamp down slightly on corruption. I do fear I, I need people with guns around me. That'll upset the Liberals, but it won't make, mean that there's less of them. I fear I may be moving too fast. If you're curious as to what the new green things are, um, we have a natural wonder, which boosts tourism. Um, or we have natural wonders, um, more likely. And we have some endangered species. See, crime with a link there, which is interesting. I mean, that's basically poaching, that link. Um, game hunting restrictions. See, there's an argument that we should allow hunting because of poverty. A lot of the interesting issues in Democracy 3 Africa are not... You sort of think, well, obviously, I don't want people to go shooting elephants. Um, but that's kind of a, like a Western view to some extent. I mean, it, you're always balancing things. You know, what, what's your biggest concern? Is it animal rights or is it poverty? I mean, you know, there's no right or wrong answer there. Um... Although if you, a lot of people will say, well, there is, there is a right and wrong answer. Um, I'm, just, I, I'm concerned that men with guns are going to come for me, and also in the game. Oh, right, okay. I'm going to go a little bit trigger happy on the guns because we've got to be tough on crime, tough on the. Elephants of crime. Just saying random words now. Okay. This is something that I like because um, rural voters like it and also boosts agricultural efficiency, which is good for productivity and GDP and everything. Um, so this is basically getting small producers together, banding together. And I, I think that's a very worthy goal. I do have a lot of political power. I could give some of it up, actually. Although I can't afford to change that. But press freedom? I'm going to go with more press freedom. And there's a few other measures. Is it? No, no, I can't, can't be turning, changing that yet. Or that. Uh... See, normally you'd, you'd kind of think, well, obviously, freedom of thought and association is a good thing, um, which it kind of is, obviously. Um, but it means more people join trade unions. And because we have a lot of poverty and a lot of problems, do we want them out on the streets? But then we've just boosted armed police, so if they do go out on the streets, we'll just shoot them. Ha ha ha. Don't people understand that shooting tourists affects the economy? But do we want emergency? Civil rights must be suspended. That'll upset liberal. But it will please conservatives and they're the ones who I'm worried about. So I'm going to do that. Crime going down. Excellent. How is the security situation? Actually not too bad. So. And check out the women. Uh, as it were. Um, that'd be weird, like a special income boost for women. Um, that would be weird, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so that's that's good news. Eventually someone may actually intend to vote for us. So what we want is this to be going up, and it isn't. It isn't, because people are still worried about about street gangs and stuff like that. Street gangs and ghettos. Probably leading to crime. Okay, so we can take action to, to deal with that. Um, Race Discrimination Act, definitely. And I think there is another... Actually, a Freedom of Information policy. 
That's pretty good. Liberals like it. More democracy. Less corruption. I'm really upsetting the state employees at this. They don't seem that bothered. Okay, and how is technology going? Is that tech? Yeah, it's, it's so slow. It's so slow to make a difference to technology. Jesus. The trouble is, can we, we have a massive deficit. Shit. Because the economy is kind of tanking. I'm just going to ignore that deficit. Just call me... Oh, I can't get too political. Just, just call me someone who ignores the deficit. Um, got to have microscopes for crying out loud. Hmm. I think bizarrely we're actually making progress. No, we. <laughs> I haven't really changed that political views at all. Um, in fact, poverty's gone up. <laughs> My God. <laughs> um, right, well, we should fix that, I think. Um, probably everything costs money, doesn't it? Everything costs money. Fuck it. Bloody hell. Actually, minority representation methods. That would reduce racial tension. That's a good move. That's a good move. I'm doing that. I'm now going to the next turn. Oh, for crying out loud. So, farmers hate me. See, we want to fix HIV. But a load of people will be annoyed if we start talking about sex. Angering conservatives will be a price worth paying. To eliminate ignorance. You'd think that. Um, this deficit is worrying. Because what it could do is kill our credit rating. And then our debt interest. The interest is pretty low. Actually pensions are still. We could cut pensions back more. We could cut pensions back more. That's okay. That's fine. Um, has GDP shifted? No not yet. Still... Bloody skill shortage, come on! It's it's just a problem that takes a long time to fix. Um, so what do we do in the meantime? Uh, poor transport links, due to lack of infrastructure. It all comes down to money. I'm going to risk it, and I am going to boost road building. Um, which if you've watched the West Wing, you'll know is a potential solution to a lot of problems in Africa. Haha. -ha. No! Well, rather amusingly, it then crashed um, due to a, a, a tiny typo <laughs> in uh, one of the files. So I, I, I kind of guess we'll never know what happened. I can actually load up. Um, because the game by default saves every turn, but I, I can't go to the next turn um, without us fixing that bug. So, uh, oh, Jesus, so how did I do? I mean, uh, I didn't do too well, let's be honest. Women now like me. Interesting that the elderly kind of like me, even though I'd, I'd, I'd really cut back on pensions. I guess that's because I dealt with crime. I dealt with crime to some extent. Um, if I look at changes, I'm sure... Yeah, look, crime and violent crime had gone massively down at that point. Uh, foreign relations... Down. Um, oh, that was because of all those... Uh, yeah, the polling station kerfuffle. Um, poverty had gone up, which is slightly disappointing. Um, democracy had gone... Democracy had gone down... I thought I'd I thought I'd boosted democracy. Oh yeah. Again, yeah, that was that. I guess that's like the perception of democracy. Yeah. Um, tourism down, population growth down. But look at that, gender inequality. Excellent, and a bit of progress on the economy type. 
in terms of where we we had barely moved on the political compass at all. Um, but still, I think my limited time in office before a crash there, um, I think I did good things. Really? Maybe? Who knows? Hopefully next time I'll play through an entire game and actually win an election. I have won elections recently um, and it will be more balanced and less terrifying at the start. Anyway, this is Democracy 3 Africa. It will be out pretty soon. Um, in the middle of next month is our target date and I'm going to be doing a, another playthrough before then. So... All I've really achieved is that I've made women happy and conservatives unhappy. Hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, you can already add the game to your wishlist on Steam if you're interested. Cheers.